In this step, we'll take a look at how we go about getting the planets to keep rotating around the sun at a constant rate that we've set up. Before we do that though, let's make sure that your project looks like mine does. So, if I just start to frame one and scrub through slowly, you can see that all the planets kind of set off and they move around for the first 20 frames uh, and they're, they're all getting, like, as they get further out from the sun, they're slightly slower. So all four are moving. If that's the case, we now need to move on to the graph editor. So, what I'm going to do is click on the first planet and I want to work on the group that I set up. So I'm going to press up again to make sure the group is selected. And now I'm going to go to Windows, Animation Editors, and I'm going to use this little chapter here, which is the Graph Editor. Now, the Graph Editor is amazing. This is the reason that your pro 3D animators love Maya. And it's because the Graph Editor is so powerful at tweaking animations and really helping them to look natural. So the first thing we'll do, um, once we've opened the Graph Editor, I like to have mine on full screen. Although if you've got a second monitor, that's even better to put it over there. Um, with my mouse pointer in here, I'm going to press A, and that will just frame up the curve, this one here. Uh, and you can see this this represents our movement. So you can see it, it sets off at frame zero, and it's moving 50 units. You can see there's the line for 50, and it's taking 20 frames to do so. So all that movement is visible in the graph editor. So the first thing we need to do is change the tangents. And the tangents are what happens at the keyframes. You can see at the moment... They're, they're curving off and they're actually slowing down that's what this represents the speed here it's speeding up and here it's slowing down and because we know that we want this on a constant loop we need that speed to be constant and the way that we're going to do that is I'm just going to select the entire curve like that and I'm going to click on tangents and I'm going to change this tangent from auto which is what it currently is at and we're going to go to spline and that puts it in a nice straight line and that means that the speed is going to be constant. It's going to set off and end at exactly the same speed which is beautiful. The next thing we're going to do though is we need this motion to go on beyond frame 20 uh, and what we're doing here is kind of automating that. So we've done the first 20 frames worth of animation, we've done a, a bit of the work but to get that going kind of forever, which is what we're going to do, we, we just click a couple of things which is much easier than having to set keyframes at like frame 13,000. So to do that, make sure that your curve is still selected and we're going to go to Curves and then Post Infinity and we're going to choose Linear. And what Linear means is if your line's going in a straight line, if your curve's in a straight line, keep following that line beyond the last keyframe. So I'll click on that and you won't yet be able to see what that does, but I'm just going to move the, uh, the graph around a bit. And the way that you do that is kind of like you do in the main viewport. So if I hold the Alt key and the middle mouse button, I can just tumble around like that. If I use the Alt key and the right mouse button, I can zoom out as well, like that. So I'm just going to zoom out a little bit and move over here. And to show you what's happening beyond train 20 now that I've set that post infinity, if I just go to view and put a tick in the box for view infinity, you can see that that line keeps going. So now, if I press play, on here you'll see that these three aren't doing anything but this one now keeps going if you're wondering why it stops it's because it reaches frame 100 here and can't go any further but if I was to set this to let's say 500 it would just go round and round until it ran out of frames which would happen at frame 500 okay so now what you need to do is repeat that process for the other three planets and then we'll move on to the next step 